Hi, I'm Cornell Ford. I coach the cornerbacks here at the University of Missouri. Originally from Gary, Indiana. Um, went to school at the University of Toledo. I started with Coach Pinkle in um, 1991 as a grad assistant. There's not a lot of guys in this profession get a chance to be with any coach for, for that long. And we probably have one of the longest tenured staffs in the country. I spend the majority of my time in St. Louis. Um, it's a major uh, recruiting area here in the state for us. Um, but I also have other areas too. I, I recruit Illinois, uh, Indiana, Ohio as well. He's pretty smooth too, I promise you. Whatever he does, he's pretty smooth. He walks smooth, he talks smooth. He most definitely dress well. You can't tell him, you can't tell him he don't dress well. I mean, he's all around great guy. Over the years, we've had a lot of great players that have come out of the area. Um, probably started with um, Damian Nash, was one of the first athletes we got out of there. He did a great job here. Will Franklin was probably my first big time, I think, athlete who came in. Jeremy Macklin was off the charts and what he was able to do here. T.J. Moe, Carl Geddes, Blaine Gabbert, uh, Sheldon Richardson, Jimmy Hunt, uh, guys that all contributed to our program and sustained our success. Um, Will Franklin came in and, and kind of started us on the right path and then Jeremy took it to the next level and was a big part of that. Here he goes, 45, kiss him goodbye. He's a guy that I, you know, got the, the utmost respect for. Um, you know, he, he, I think he went about the process the right way. Um, you know, and, and it proves that he also cares about you as a person as well. Uh, considering the fact that we still keep in contact, you know, to this day. So, um, you know, I couldn't have, I couldn't have asked to be put in a, in a better situation to, to help me be successful. My first um, athlete that that went. To the, to the NFL level, uh, was an unbelievable athlete. Was probably the fastest kid I've ever seen before, Shadani Mitchell. Shadani transferred over from wide receiver and moved over to uh, the cornerback position and just took off and went on and played about four or five years in the NFL, had a great career. William Moore is, um, is just, has blossomed into becoming the kind of player that we thought that he could be and is right now in the NFL, playing with the Falcons and he's done a great job. And then uh, probably the kid I'm, I'm most proud of is, is Kevin Rutland, just because of where he started at. And when he walked in the door, you never thought he was ever gonna play in the NFL, um, but he's now starting in the NFL and so he's doing a great, great job. Coach Ford is a straightforward kind of guy. You know, it's not much gray when he speaks, he's gonna tell you how he feels. I think it ultimately is the best way to go because you don't want somebody to beat around the bush or to tell you lies or anything like that. You know, he's very honest, very straightforward, but I mean, off the field, I mean, he's just as loving as anybody else, you mean, or any other father figure you may have. Got a great relationship with all those kids, and, uh, you know, they've been a part of the family here for, um, and seen our success, and so they, they, they still feel like they're a part of the program, which we want them to, because they will always be Tigers uh, forever. They'll be part of the family, as we, as we call it here. I think the thing that separates us from every other campus in the country is that the people that work here. Um, we're all about helping each other and, and uh, sustaining and continue to build uh, and, and making this one of the best football programs for universities in the country.